Hello there, and welcome to a very low production value comic pack review of the very exorbitantly priced Kashyyyk comic pack, or the Bogey Squad, or Republic 83. It was released in the 2009 Legacy Collection, and no one fucking saw it, and it goes for uh, upwards of two, three, four hundred pounds sealed. I don't know, the figures themselves are retail for 14 quid. Thank you for that, eBay. And the figures loose as of July 2019 have gone this one alone in what in auctions mostly, which drives the price up by a considerable amount. It drives it up to about 144 was the most I saw for the commander alone. People aren't really willing to fork out too much for the standard trooper, unfortunately. But uh well, it's just one of those things. People really like this Apo repaint and Understandably so, it's from a tried and tested mould that has been repainted so many times, it's just fucking unbelievable. Uh, a lot of YouTubers, one in particular, obviously, uh, JCC2224, has covered all the uh, variations of that mould, and I recommend you check out that video, I'm not going to uh, make a video of that. Uh, this is my first review, and let's get started with, uh, I'd say, the details of the Commander. So this one, which hasn't got an actual name, we could speculate that it's Commander Fey, even though Commander Fey appears more as this one. Has more of an appearance like unto a Kashyyyk Trooper, obviously. This one, articulation, you should know. He's, the figure's been uh, sold and sold and sold and passed around for about 50 not 15 years, uh, 14 years. So his artic articulation, mobility, whatever whatever you want to say, don't care. It is a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, ball-jointed elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist. Ball-jointed waist, why am I pointing at the hips? Swivel hips, swivel hips, anatomy. Ball-jointed elbows and ball-jointed ankles. So, yeah. Very good figure, obviously. It's a very well painted figure. Incredible floral, not floral, uh, woodland camo, floral camo. Let's have a floral uh, camouflaged clone trooper, that would be great. And moving on to this one the repaint of Commander Fey from the 2008 Legacy Collection comic pack with Quinlan Voss, who is the, uh, well, swole looking guy. Who's on that comic book cover with that Wookiee? So, this one, he has a ball jointed head, he has a ball jointed, uh, oh, fuck, you know, shoulders, why can't I point out? Ball jointed elbows, swivel wrists. Swivel waist, he's not as articulated in the waist area as um, the commander. Swivel uh, hips, ball jointed. Elbow knees, ball jointed ankles. So, what they uh, Hasbro in their infinite wisdom to kind of quote the in between us, in, um, English, obviously, it's mandatory, is give this one the worst possible head sculpt you could give a figure, which is, I've heard, the likeness of Bodie Taylor, so it's not somewhere a Morrison, the guy who actually did play as a clone troopers, play as a clone, fucking hell, I'm not five years old, obviously portrayed clone troopers, I think he's been out of shot the whole time, so you can see him now, so, yeah, uh, instead they went with someone who looked like a clone trooper, to put it colloquially, Colloquially, yes, I speak English. This is actually, in fact, the only English review of this. So, they gave him this head sculpt, even though on the back, if I just move this, on the back of the sealed version... So, let me just pick up this iPhone 6, yep. iPhone 6. On the back of the sealed version, he's seen with the head sculpt that they use for that Fey figure. So... I don't understand why I didn't just use that. The promotional uh, artwork for this is very nice, obviously. These two comic packs here and here and Routine Valor there, which I do have and I might review, are ridiculously expensive as well. So that's another great coincidence. And um, if you'd want 
a vessel. Look at this sealed version. Well, sealed version. The sealed comic pack. There it is. Do, do, do. Try not to film the Gaviscon I'm using as a rest for this mobile phone. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, they fit well for dioramas, obviously, in Kashyyyk settings. You know, the good got good but even play value if a kid wants them, even though uh, many uh, pre-Disney acquisition era Star Wars 3 and a quarter inch articulated figures can be collectibles and toys because of the detail of them. And I've been collecting since I was a kid, so it appeals to both demographics. The, the sculpts are usually great, not now, but um, it's just one of those things where they really had something going, and unfortunately, a lot, not many people saw this comic pack. It's incredibly rare. I mean, the buy it nows for these, especially sealed, are fucking ridiculous. Pardon my French. Uh, There's just not, you know, the pieces of plastic, and obviously, sentimental value to people. Obviously, that's why vintage figures sealed are incredibly expensive. You've got that working on them. But, you know, it's one of those things, again, repetition. It's what it is. It's it's an incredibly detailed, it's incredibly articulated, both of the figures. It's a very good buy. It would have been if it wasn't 400 quid on eBay buy it now as of July the 23rd, 2019. Could have been relisted at a lower price or it could have been bought, taken off. I've seen them go for 100, 150. I'm going off uh, Great British Sterling, so in US dollars, which is primarily where the majority of these, not many comic packs, are located. It would be even more. So, you know, yeah, this is the end of this review. I'm sorry if it has been painful to watch. I've tried to have a bit of a personality because I've noticed. Uh, um, even though a lot of reviewers are probably nice people, uh, some of them just kind of have this drawling voice. I think my voice is a slightly bit lower than it is off the camera. So, yes, I've tried to provide decent, I guess, entertainment value if you have made it through without uh, wanting to kill yourself. Wow, you've done a great job. So, yeah, this is it. This is the review. It's a great comic pack, not great price, and yeah, it's the only English one of the English review of this out there, so have fun trying to find it, because you probably won't, and have fun trying to buy it, unless you're rich, unless you've got disposable income where you can just fork out 400 quid or whatever without thinking about it on pieces of plastic, this is the comic pack for you. So I will see you where I'm in probably a few seconds while I'm recording this, because I got it little display up on my desk. I'm just going to get uh, Mariela Montross for my new next review, not new review. So I'll see you there. Please go away now.